Hello friends, welcome to the Microsoft Excel tutorial. In this session, we are going to see difference between relative versus absolute cell reference in formulas. In the earlier session, we saw that in the relative cell reference, cell changes when formula is copied. Whereas in the absolute cell reference, it remains fixed. So let's check it with an example to understand it very clearly. Relative cell reference. Here we are inserting the formula B9 plus C9. So we got the total 100. Now if we copy the same formula here, we got the total as 110. And you can see here in formula bar, cell number has changed. So relative address will change when copied to other cell address. Again we will copy it in the other cells and we got the answers. Now we will do the addition vertically too. So total of first column came to 200 and if we copy it for getting total of second column and total column, the cell numbers will get changed accordingly. So have you understood this perfectly? Basically whenever we will copy the formula, the cell reference will change. Now if someone want the cell reference to be fixed, then they can use the absolute cell reference. Now we want the hourly rate of 100, that is cell number D27 to be fixed in all formulas. So how do we do it? Here we have an example. First column is name of the employee A, B, C, D. Second column hours 50, 60, 70, 80. And we need to calculate the gross pay. So the formula will be hours multiplied by hourly rate, right? But here the hourly rate of 100 is fixed. So that is the fixed cell reference. Let's insert the formula over here. Equal to then select the hourly rate cell which is D27. Then we need to press F4 after cell which we want to be fixed. Then multiply it by 50 which is cell C30 and enter. So we got the answer as 5000. Now if we copy this formula for all the other employees, we will get the correct answers of gross pay. Here you can see hourly rate cell D27 remains same in all formulas. And only hours cell reference changed. C30, C31, C32 and C33. Have you understood this? So we just have to press F4 after selecting the cell which we wanted to remain fixed in all formula and that will add dollar sign to that cell reference making it absolute cell reference. Let's repeat it so it will be crystal clear to you. First equal to then cell D27 after that press F4 then multiply it with hours cell enter and then copy it for all. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification of our new videos. Also, check out our business mastery courses available on our website www.letstude.com.